Hey guys, this is Alan from Queen Creek Tropical Singing today's episode. I'm going to show you my scale infestation. All right, guys. So if you have fruit trees, this is going to happen sooner or later. For me, it was later. So this tree right here has been in the ground for a few years. It's a little ruby fig. It's a dwarf variety. It grows only about six, seven feet tall, and that's it. This tree was fully grown. It was amazing looking last year. And uh, well, as the leaves dropped, we've noticed an infestation and those are scale so what is a scale guys the scale is a bug that attach it, attaches itself to the bark of your tree and what it does it sucks on the uh, on the sap of the tree and it never moves think of a, a, a mosquito that has a pincher and then once it attaches itself to your tree, that's it. It will live there forever. And as you can see, I have a heavy infestation. Now, no need to panic, guys. This is okay. It's not going to kill your tree. Will it weaken the tree? A little bit, yeah, especially if you have a heavy infestation like I do. But if your tree is healthy, it will recover from it. And it will be okay. So there are a few ways you can actually treat scale. The first one and the easiest way to do it is going to be by pruning. We completely prune this tree down and as you can see I only have a few branches left. Most of it it's already in the trash and you can see all these branches right here that are completely infested. Right there, you can see all that right there. So what scale does, I don't know if you can see the honey looking substance in there. I've noticed last season that this tree here was like completely full of bees and it, it was like, I thought it was a beehive in there. That's how bad it was. And I don't mind the bees, I like them actually. But that was a sign that there was something else going on on that tree. So what scale does, it secretes a honeydew-like substance and then it's sweet and bugs like it bees ants so usually if you have all of a sudden you see tons of ants on your tree or bees you know something's up if you catch it early sometimes it's just gonna be a branch you can just cut it off and you're good to go um, and obviously you want to throw that branch away so they don't spread um, and you know sometimes a little uh, more um, labor intensive as this one right here so at that point what you can do which is what i'm doing right now is you can use alcohol guys any alcohol will do um this one here is the cheapest i can find 50 percent concentration and uh, what you do is let's say you have a an area where you want to completely soak what you do is you soak the entire area just like that just soak it up and then think of it as pouring alcohol on an open wound on yourself and that's exactly what these little bugs are feeling right now and that will kill them and that's it that's the natural way of getting rid of them so a big area like this i like to just soak it up like that now let's say you have a smaller area like a branch or just a few branches and you don't want to cut it up so you can pour the alcohol in a spray bottle and then just spray just like that done so how often do you need to spray well at the first sign of a scale you want to spray daily once a day early in the morning late in the afternoon so that way it doesn't evaporate as quickly in the sun. Um, and do that, I would say, every single day for two weeks straight. Then after two weeks, just spray uh, weekly for maintenance for, for the remainder of that season. Uh, you just wanna make sure that they're all gone and then they're not coming back. Another thing that you wanna do, guys, is um, the soil around the area. You see I have mulching here. I'm gonna scrape all that off. I'm gonna throw it away because what scale does, they, they will actually burrow themselves in the soil just the first inch or two and then lay their eggs in there and then just wait there, 
past winter and then come back and then go up the tree again. So to prevent that, you know, I'm just gonna get all the mulch out of here and then it will be okay. Now, like I said, guys, do not panic. A scale is not going to kill your tree unless your tree was already super weakened to the point where anything else that happened to it was just gonna cause it to die. And at that point, your tree was already destined to die anyway. Do not blame the scale. In my opinion, this is mainly cosmetic damage and it's just not, you know, it doesn't look good, especially if you sell plants. So I haven't seen any scale on my other plants. This is the only one right here. And um, so yeah, this is just localized. Maybe the potting mix here or maybe the, the mulch that I put over in this area has scale eggs in there. And then that's how that happened. This took a full year to happen, guys. This did not happen overnight. So you can catch it in time before it gets this bad. My other figs that I have over there, I have seven different varieties in the front yard. There is no scale there. So everything is good to go. Uh, how do you, how those, uh, how those scale um, spread? Usually through the soil or through plants that are too close together and they will climb on the neighboring plants and ants will actually protect the uh, scale because they like the sweet stuff that they secrete so it's very hard to have like a um, natural um, way to get rid of them by including beneficial bugs in the area because well ants protect them and once the scale is dead they actually are not gonna fall off guys they're just gonna dry up and they're gonna stay there. A lot of the scale right here is already dead because of the winter and then I have been spraying them. But they're just not gonna fall off. It's just the way it works, they're gonna stay there. But as long as they don't spread anymore, I should be okay. Anyways guys, when growing fruit trees guys or any plants in general, you're always gonna encounter bugs that you don't like. And, and scale is going to be one of them. It's usually, um, more prominent in areas where you don't have severe winters. It's gonna be in warmer areas. But like I said, do not panic guys. It's just the way it works. It's not going to kill your tree. And then uh, the way I treat it, like you see, you've seen, is by using alcohol. You can also use uh, insect, uh, insecticides, which I do not like. I don't care what the label says. A lot of them will say you can eat the fruit after three to six months. No, that's not true. It will stay there for a long time and you don't want to eat that, guys. So I never use insecticides. So what I usually use for most stuff, like 95% of the bugs in my yard, is soapy water. Done. And that kills everything. The rest, like scales, I use alcohol. And then that usually seems to work. You can also use neem oil. Um, in my experience, I haven't really seen a lot of benefit of using neem oil. And neem oil is not cheap. So soapy water seems to work just fine for me. Um, another way you can actually get rid of the scale is just by flaking them off. Just if you only have a few, you can just go ahead and flake them off with your fingers and you are good to go. Check the area, the soil around the plant, and then just, you know, keep an eye on your tree so that way it doesn't spread or become an infestation like mine. I'm not worried guys, it's okay. And uh, like I said, if you have any questions, guys, comment below. If you like the videos, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe so that way other people can see it. And I will see you next time.